Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? <clears throat> How are you doing today? It looks like I'm alone today. I have uh, nobody has the camera on. It's just me. Just me today. Adriana, there we go. Hey, there we go. Okay. Good evening, Mia. Good evening, Marcos. Where are you? Are you working? Oh, no, you're at home now. Excellent. Yes. Perfect. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent, Liliana from Belgium. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Milton. Welcome to the class. Guys, a question, a question today. Hoy, ¿cómo se ve eh, lo del internet? ¿Siempre se ve mal o se escucha cortado? ¿Se ve frozen en la pantalla? En mi casa no, teacher, todo está bien. It's, it's very nice, teacher. Sí, porque hoy estoy con um, LAN. Ya fui a comprar la LAN para conectarlo directamente y no estar con Wi-Fi, sino con LAN. Así que supondría que se tiene que ver mejor. I hope, so, ok. Si no, ahí me dicen y le llamo a los del internet para reclamarles. Mis alumnos dicen que no se ve bien. Y les reclamo. Right. Ok, guys. So, we're going to start because today we have the homework that I assigned yesterday. We have um, two topics that we need to practice. Two or more topics, actually. Um, Vieron el mensaje que les enviaron que decía que hay que terminar hasta la sección 2 esta semana, ¿verdad? Entonces me gustaría that you work on the platform. Ahí está la plataforma, podemos trabajar. Y esta semana tendrían que estar completando hasta la sección number 2 para ir al día. Que yo, como les dije, ir adelante no es problema, ir atrás sí es problema. Ok, that's, that's the thing. Someone was asking about a problem in the platform. And I don't know, is the person here? Is that a person acá? Is the person here? So we can solve the problem. Nope. But I think the problem was before or after the topic we were looking at yesterday. So I'm guessing is, no, it's not. I had the same, I had the same problem with that exercise, but in my case was the apostrophe was wrong, but I fixed it and that's okay. That's okay. And what is the number of the exercise? Can you tell me? I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, let me check. Maybe. I, I, I finished the, the section two, but in that exercise, that was my problem. But do you remember if it, it was that. section one or section two? Mm, was, was section two, I, uh, I think, because was the, the, I, I don't like it and I, I love it or I like it. Um, I think is the topic we're going to see today, maybe. I think it's gerunds, but it looks so different. Okay, wait a second, guys. Um, let me see. Section two exercise. No, let's check. Section two clothes. But what does it say? Let me check the screenshot that I got in the in, in, on WhatsApp. Uh, 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 it's the exercise when you need to put a, I like it when, or I love it when. I like it, I like it when, and I love it when. Pero eliminaron el mensaje, yes, ya no puedo verlo. No, I cannot. Oh my goodness. So it was not in section two. Estoy viendo que it's not, it's not section two. Maybe section one. 
Let me look here. Teacher, I think it's the section one. Uh, I remember. Section, section one, 1.11. Is 1.11? Yep. Oh, yeah, I see it. How do you feel about these situations? I love it. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. When someone gives me a compliment, when people are direct, when people call me late at night, when friends friend treat me, treat me to dinner. Yeah, but, pero el ejercicio que me mostraba esa persona no está aquí, porque el ejercicio de esa persona decía, eh, del, del when people pool, are friendly, uh -huh, when people pool, are that, friendly. Pool, ¿Y qué that. número de ese ejercicio es ese? Es, uh, no, 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 1.4. 1.4. So it's the first one. Uh -huh. uh, the first is uh, um, probably correct. Is I uh, don't either like it to meet people who have a good sense of humor. And the second, I it says, I like to meet people. These people are, okay, let me, le voy a mostrar pantalla para que vean de que estamos hablando. Here, this one you say. I like to meet people. Finish, 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 finish. Oh, at the end. Uh -huh, at the end. At the end, at the end, at the end, at the end. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was looking just at the beginning. I didn't look here at the end. So here it says, I liked, wait a second. I like to meet people. I like to meet people who have a sense, a good sense of humor, maybe. What do you add? ¿Qué pusieron? Espérame que se me congeló. It froze. Wait a second. Okay, now, here we go. Okay, so I'd like, I'd like to meet, to meet people, people who, who have good sense oh, of humor. Who have a good sense of humor. Okay. Remember, but in this case, guys, here, remember, I, I was explaining this, uh, I don't know when, but I was explaining this. In this case, who have a good sense of humor? What is the subject of this sentence, you will say? These people. Mm, yeah, at the beginning, like, I like to meet people. But in this part, what is it? So this is the verb, have. So what is the subject? Who? Who, who? exactly, it's who. If we look deep, uh, like uh, trying to figure out really deep who he is who, quien es quien, who is who, it's these people, that is correct. So, but let's look here, pa, 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 pa. yeah, it's correct, yes. So that will be the answer. No sé quién está preguntando, but this is going to be the answer. I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. That's going to be the answer. Do you have problems with any other exercise, guys? Yes, teacher, I am. Okay, okay. I, the exercise, the number is... The section number one. Section mm -hmm. number four. No, one, one teacher. I was like, wow. Okay, no, it's okay. Uh, what number <laughs> of exercise? Uh, 13 teacher, 13 and the number. Okay, the number 13, 13, 13. 
Okay, let me see here. Okay. What is the problem? Uh, I know a set the ticket teacher. Ya le marqué todos los cheques y ni uno me lo acepta. O sea, le he probado con un cheque en la primera línea y no me lo aceptó. Le probé wait yourself. Tampoco. He probado cada uno y no me lo aceptado. Are three checks in one second yeah. more. Exactly. Three, so, four. Exactly. So it says... Remember, uh, remember uh, um, and see the video? And yeah. watch the video, the video yeah. for the... Um, Uh, bueno, la cosa es que se me olvidó, pero la cosa es que hay que ver el primer video para responder bien esa sección. Y yeah, no, no solo es uno. No, no. So no, if they make a ah, list okay. of the things that you do for, uh, like you use apps for, then you need to do that, ¿ok? So si ah, es okay. una lista, okay, you have to do that, ¿ok? Ok, Very thank you. Teacher. So, for example, uh, ya me encontraron el lapicito ahí. Ya veo que me están anotando aquí en la pizarra. Okay. So, yes. So, you need to watch first this video, 1.12, here. And here, it's going to tell you the answers that you need in the next exercise, in the 1.13. Okay. So, watch the video first, and then we're going to do this exercise. Okay. Okay, teacher. Perfect. I see you later. Okay, okay, okay Heidi. Um, who needs help? Nobody else? Teacher, I have uh, just a question. Yes, okay, 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 okay. First, let's go with Adriana because she was the one first and then we go with Milton. Okay, Adriana, tell me. Okay, teacher, uh, I don't know if we have to complete the two sections. Uh, before today or tomorrow? Because, I will give you uh, until tomorrow. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I understood that we have to finish uh, the section one because in this week we will finish it, right? But I didn't know we have to finish until the section two. Yeah, I took a long time explaining the section one, but you, we should we should complete the section number two. And actually, o sea, on Monday, I'm gonna finish, finish section two because there's not a lot of things there. So if you can complete section two, today I'm gonna explain a topic that is on section two. Let me see here, wait a second. Okay, so here we have comparisons with adjectives and nouns. Comparisons with adjectives and nouns, comparisons with verbs and past participle. Yeah, we're going to finish that section on Monday. El Monday vamos a terminar section two. So yeah, if you can complete section one and section two by tomorrow, please do it. Because they are going to be checking the, the grades, okay? Okay, teachers. Okay. okay. Uh, Milton, you had a question. Uh, teacher, I have a problem with the uh, exercise 1.11. Is uh, I love it uh, the answer the, the, the I file in the answer 1.11. El que acabamos de hacer. 11. No. Is que acabamos de hacer is four one point one. 1.4 parece. 1.11. Love, love, love it. Uh, I love it when. Ok, 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 ok. I love it when. What is that one? Pero en qué, en qué parte del ejercicio? Aquí que va a ser opcional para ustedes. It's up to you. Like, oh, let me show you the screen. Let me share the screen with you. 
so you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, here, here, okay. Um, which one? Where do you have the problem? Is when someone give me okay. When someone give, give me a compliment on my clothes. Okay. Uh, I, I love it. Okay. Uh, I know. So we're gonna write it like that. I love it when someone gives me a compliment Oh, oh my clothes. teacher, it's a, it's a full answer. Yeah, it's the full answer. It's the complete answer. Okay. Okay, teacher, it's my, it's my problem. Only only the, the answer is short. Okay, oh, okay. I love it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I understand. okay. okay. no problem. Thank okay. you. Even it's, yeah, correct. So even if you can, if you write, it bothers me when, or it embarrasses, it embarrasses me when, it's always gonna be correct. But the thing is that you have to write the first part of the sentence, then when, and the rest of the sentence. So maybe that was the problem there. Yes. Okay. Any Thank other you. questions, guys? Nope. No, 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 okay. So we're gonna start here with the topic for today. But just let me share my screen really quick. Oh, but before we start with the topic for today, I want you to send here to the chat, pero envíenlo de forma privada, lo voy a explicar rápido en español. Ahí en el chat le va a aparecer opción de enviar tú, o si lo tienen en inglés, si no le va a aparecer para. Denle la opción que diga inglés corporativo, okay? Enviar a inglés corporativo nada más, porque si no le va a llegar a todos si no quiero que le den copia. Solo inglés corporativo. Le van a poner ahí. Quiero que me escriban. I want you to write the date. What is the date for today? Because I, sh I shared the date with you the first three days. So now I want to see if you can write the date in English. So... What is today's date? Repeat, teacher, please. I want you to send here to the chat privately yes. the date today's date because I want to see if you can write dates in English okay I just have four people sending the answers to the chat. What about the other people? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I sent you the date. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. But I'm looking at something right now. There is a problem there. Ah, pero con sinceridad. Bueno, se vayan a buscar a Google. ¿Cómo se escribe la fecha en inglés? Okay. Ya lo veo, ya lo veo. Ah, ya les conocí las intenciones. Ok, ok. 
Okay, now I see some people writing 20th and then January. The problem there is that in English, we write the month first and then we write the date. So the date should be, because I see a lot of problems here. I'm looking at a lot of problems right now. It, it's okay. We can fix it, but let me show you. Let me show you. I'm gonna show you really quick. So in English, first you're gonna write, so if you wanna be very specific about the date, you're gonna write um, the day first. So what day of the week it is. So today is Thursday, okay? First thing, you need to write the day of the week. Then after the day of the week, you can add a comma. And then we go with the month. What month is this one, guys? Can you tell me what is the month? January. 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 Okay. Then after you write the month, then you can write the date. That is 20. But because we have the TH sound, it's going to be 20th. 20th. 20. And then at the end, we write the Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. We write the uh, year. So it's going to be Thursday, January 20th, 2022 or 2022. It's different because some of you were writing like this. Uh, and I understand why. Because when we speak in Spanish, we say the date first and then the month, 20 de enero. But in English, it's different. First, we're going to say the month and then we're going to say the date, okay? Um, if you didn't write the day, like today's day, and you only wrote this one, it's okay. Because it's still okay. But what I want you to think about is that first is the month and then is the date. Do you understand that, guys? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so yes, about that, because here we have it. Can you help me reading the date, Jose Manuel? Mm. Thursday, January 20th. 2022. Okay, thank you very much. Marcos, could you read please the topics for today? 2.1, personal types. 2.3, gender and subject and objects. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now guys, we're gonna watch a video about personality types. I'm gonna play the video for you really quick. And I want you to think, so we're gonna do some answers here, but I want you to think, what is your personality? Okay, so here in the video, you're gonna watch a person talking about six different personalities to choose a career. For example, when you want to choose the career, you're gonna study in college. So listen to the six types of personalities and tell me what personality it's better, like it, it best describes you. Do you understand the activity we're gonna do right now? Yeah? Yeah, teacher. I think everybody does? Okay, perfect. So watch the video carefully and decide what is your type of personality. I hope this goes well. I'm oh, sorry that I have it here. Pa, 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 and here. Okay. And oh, no. of course, sorry. Career there we go. Welcome to Matheson College. I'm Jamie Fish. 
Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major <coughs> and career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? Well, there are six basic personality types. Hmm. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes. Conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. Hmm. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. But they usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people, so they make good managers. OK, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science, but librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> the last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Auden, thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. OK. so. Like, I'm guessing you understood the video. And did you find your type of personality there? Did you find it? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. If, according to the video, tell me, what do you think is my type of personality, according to what they say? Two or three personality teachers. No, but one specifically describes me. One. Mm, Teach. Wow. Uh, 
Social teacher. Social. Social, social correct. Social. They say that teaching is in the social ones. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and I want you to speak with your classmates and decide what is your type of personality and tell them why. Why you think that is your type of personality and listen to your classmates talk about theirs. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Perfect. Yes. It's going to be quick because then I have to explain to you some topics. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's go. But I love it and I love to help people.
Okay. It's your turn. Your, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the, the best is a loss. I am, I'm, my personality is an uh, um, artist. Artist. I, I think it's uh, artistic. I, yes, artistic. It's because an uh, emotional person uh, uh, and uh, I like it, it, uh, when, when read the poems. Uh, I, I like when read stories. Uh, I like painting in lienzo is uh, the olio is a yeah. uh, pine uh, I I uh... Hello what is happening here I see uh, the how do you say mostrar Tisha? Oh, show. Yes, so uh, nice. show. Show the photo de Janet. The, so the she's work. artistic. Ah. Yes, yes. teacher. Teacher, wow. teacher, ¿cómo se dice de todo un poco? A little bit of everything. <laughs> yes. A teacher and Janet and Jessica. Oh, really? They are artistic per people. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Wow. Okay. Okay. I like it. Continue. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Tish. Oh, the. Welcome back. So, I see that we have a lot of artistic people in this class. So far that I see that we have people that really like to make um, handcraft, right? Yeah, that's very interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna say different types of personality and you're gonna tell me if I mentioned yours. Social. No, pero hágame un, hay, hay reacciones. So you can tell me with reactions. Si yo digo el suyo, le hacen like this. You give me a thing like that, okay? So we had social, let me 
Look the other one. Pa, 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 pa. Déjenme ver los demás que están. Wait a second, wait a second. Ya, 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 ya. Ya, pues, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so things is artistic. Who is artistic? There we go. You see, we had a lot of artistic people in here. Yeah, I told you. Okay, let's go with the next one. Conventional. If you are conventional, oh, nobody's, oh, Janet is conventional as well. Okay, let me see the other one. Enterprising. Enterprising. And entrepreneur people, enterprising. Oh, that's why you were saying, Janet is a little bit of everything they were saying in the break room. <laughs> okay, let me see the other one. Investi investigative. Investigative. Who is investigative? investigative. Janet again, and, 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 and then Jessica. Next one is realistic who's realistic no one okay oh janet as well and well social i mentioned already okay perfect now guys let me go with the next topic because yes time is going okay do you know what is a gerund do you remember like you should know so far what is a gerund Yeah, exactly. A gerund is the ing form. We use gerunds usually to talk about the present continuous or the future, like I am going, I am leaving. But in this class, we're going to talk about gerunds as nouns and objects of a sentence. Sometimes when you add the ing form to a verb, you are making the verb a noun. Okay, wait a second. Sorry about that. Okay, um, ing can make a verb a noun. For example, let me show you. Teaching is fun. Teaching is fun. So adding ing to the verb teach is making teach a noun. Do you get the idea? Teaching is fun. What is the verb in this sentence? Teaching is fun. Is, is correct, teaching. the verb be. No, 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 it's the verb to be. What is doing? Teaching is the noun. So teaching is the subject of the sentence. So that's what we're, gonna, what we're going to talk right now. When teaching, when a verb can be the subject of the sentence of the, or the object of a sentence, if we use it with the gerund ing. For example, here, look at this. Gerund as a subject. Driving, sorry about that, wait a second, there. Driving a car is not easy at all. In this case, driving is not a verb. Driving is the subject of this sentence. Is, is, is the verb. So driving is the action, but it's like conducir. So in this case, driving is going to become a noun by adding the ing. Let's go with the next example. And you're going you're gonna to apply the rules to form the ing. So for example, if it has only one syllable and it goes va consonant, vowel, consonant, you're going to double the last consonant and then you are going to add ing. Yo supongo que ya conocen esa regla, ¿verdad? You know those rules already? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so perfect, so. perfect. Yes, teacher. Okay, so running keeps you in shape. What is the verb in this sentence? Keeps. Keeps. 
So something else that you need to know is that um, gerunds can be the subject of a sentence, but gerunds are going to be like third person. The rules you follow with the third person, you're gonna follow with the sub the with the gerunds. Like you were saying, eat is una acción, so se called eat. Share it, it. your your screen like freezing. It is frozen my screen my screen? No, miss. On it a few moments ago. Oh. ¿A todos se les congeló o just Janet? No, 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 teacher. Oh, okay. So, okay, so maybe it's in the, her, her internet. I was asking porque ya iba a ir a demandar a estos porque si ya tengo conexión directa. What is it? No, teacher. Okay, 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 perfect. Okay, now the next no one time. is. Okay, smoking is not good for your health. Again, smoking is a verb with the gerund, but in this case is a noun. It's not a verb, it's a noun. So far, do you get the idea about gerunds being the subject of a sentence? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Okay, now, because you get the idea, you said, we are going to complete this. For example, here it says, it is interesting to read a book. Then the action that we find interesting is reading a book. So vamos a compartir esta oración así. Reading a book is interesting. Let's do the next one together. It is relaxing to listen to music. What is the action that is relaxing? Listen, listen to, to the music. It is relaxing. So listen, it's gonna be listen to music. Listen to music, or in this case, it's gonna be listening to music. Listen listening to music. To listening to music, listening to music yes. is relaxing. Alexa, shut up. Next one. It is fun to play the guitar. Playing the guitar is uh -huh. fun. Playing the guitar is a fun. It's fun, okay. You're very, in, very smart. Playing the guitar is fun, no, it's fun, it's fun. Like this, like this. It's, oh yeah, y aquí también, oh no, es, solo lo tiene como is ahí? Bueno, okay. All right, let's do this one, this one, and this one, and send them to the chat. Okay, hagan eso y send it to the chat. Privately, privately. So send your answers and send all the answers together. Háganlo juntito and send them together. No me voy a mandar una por una porque like, I lost track. I lost track. It's exciting. Only you, Miss? Yeah, only to Inglés Corporativo. Sorry. <laughs> You send it to Sorry. everybody. Yeah. Guys, but remember, send them all together. Mándenlas todas juntas porque si no, se me, es que se me hacen un montón. Miren, para los que están en compu, denle shift y enter yeah. para dar espacio yeah. sin enviarlo. Y para los que están en teléfono, sepárenlo con una fleca, una fleca para no, no, ajá. Recuerden todos juntos.
Hello, ¿me escuchan? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, let me see. Making videos is interesting. Okay, that's the letter F. Okay. Wait a second. In camping, going camping. Okay, um, Liliana, tell me what is the answer for letter D? <clears throat> Liliana? Letter D, letter D is... Uh, Uh, going camping is exciting. Okay, thank you very much. Correct. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Heidi, can you tell me the answer for letter E? Uh, the nothing, no, not the chair. The doing, doing boring. Get over it. During, during, during nothing. Mm, are you sure? Do no nothing. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. It's boring. It's boring. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ana Rivera. No, 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 no. no. Bueno, sí, Ana Rivera, tell me. Letter F. Making videos. Making videos is... Entertaining. Entertaining. Okay, thank you very much. Remember, as the subject of a sentence, you're going to add the ing and you're going to use the complement to make it have sense, right? Like it makes, yeah, it makes sense. Now, I'm going to explain to you the same thing, but as the object of a sentence. Do you know what is the object of a sentence? First of all, right? Like, do you know what is the object of a sentence? You don't know what is the object of a sentence. Okay, okay. So, no. the object of a sentence... Oh, you do? ¿Quién dijo que sí sabe qué es el object? No one? Yeah? Yes? No? Okay, so, the object... In the sentence, we have subject, verb, and complement. But sometimes, and most of the time, we have subject... Then we have, let me see, porque me estoy escuchando mucho ruido, si yo no tengo micrófonos abiertos. Okay, there we go. Um, we have the subject, we have the verb. But for example, sometimes a pronoun can be the object of a sentence. This is an example. When I say, I love you, okay, I love you. That's a phrase that even if you don't know, if you don't speak English, you know how to say, I love you, I love you, right? But with that sentence, we have a subject. The subject is I. The subject is the person who realizes or who does the action, okay? Always in a sentence, who or what is doing the action is the subject. Then we have the verb, love. Love is the verb. So the object, is that thing where the action lays. So I love you. The object of my love or the object of my action is you. We have a person who is the subject, who is realizing the action or doing the action and on the object that in this case is you. Do you understand better what is the object of a sentence? Yes. Okay. So for example, if I say, 
I like cars. What is the object of that sentence? Car. Car. Cars. Okay, okay. Now, gerunds can be the object of sentences as well. For example, if I say, I like, okay. I like dancing. I like dancing. So I is the subject, like is the verb, and what is the object of the sentence? Dancing. Dancing, correct. Now let's look at another example. You don't like, okay. What is the subject of the sentence? You. What is uh, the verb? Cooking is the object. Cooking is the object. Se me adelantaron. Correct. So Doesn't cooking like. is the object. Guys, remember, the object of a sentence is where I'm laying the situation. Like where, where my action is going. Okay. What is laying? Recayendo. Laying, por ejemplo, si usted dice, estoy laying on my sofa, estoy como recostado en mi sofa, pero en este caso, laying sería como donde recae. Yeah, laying. Okay. okay. So, my action is going to that object. So, now, give me an example of um, the gerund as an object of the sentence, saying something that you like. Okay. Think about a verb. For example, I like speaking English. I like swimming. I like anything like that. So send, send me an example about something that you like to do. Using gerunds, of course. Okay, okay. I like doing crafts or handcraft, manualidades, handcraft. Join going to the beach. Okay, me too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Ah, menos mal, no estamos en clases presenciales, puedo toser con propiedad. I like, ajá, uh -huh. here. I like drive motorcycle or I like driving motorcycles. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. we're talking about gerunds. like swimming and doing craft too, handcraft. I like playing video games. Oh, okay, perfect. I like going shopping. I like playing video games too. Oh, again, it's the same person. I like playing video games. Okay, so now, is it clear for you when to use gerunds as subjects and gerunds as objects? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. In my case, yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, please, if you can, work on the platform so you have tonight and you have tomorrow to work on section one and on section two. Um, even though we have not covered all the topics of section two, but try to work on that. I'm going to try to complete all the topics by Monday. And then we're going to start with the section number three. La característica de estos cursos, guys, es que se van bien rápido y uno ni siente el tiempo. Porque a mí se me echó, se nos fue la primera semana. We only have three weeks left 
And it's going to be like this. Ya van a ver, va a ser así de rápido. Y va a depender de ustedes que empecemos rápido el siguiente módulo según la inscripción y según ustedes vayan trabajando en la plataforma. ¿Ok? Este, eh, una consulta. Yeah, Tiene que quedar Marco. finalizado a la plataforma, todos los ejercicios de la plataforma de la parte 1 y 2 ahora. Tomorrow. Te voy a dar hasta tomorrow. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, so if you... Yes, like... I have a headache. Teacher, I doing during the week. And during the, uh -huh. <laughs> I doing during the weekend, teacher. The platform. In the weekend, not all, which platform. <laughs> weekend, mm, but I would prefer if you do it Friday. But if you don't have any option, por lo menos que el lunes ya esté completo. Si no tiene yes, opción. teacher. Saturday and Sunday I finish <laughs> the two sections. Okay, okay, I hope so, I hope so. Okay, guys, but remember, it they are just like a few questions, not like very difficult to complete. But yeah, okay, I will see you guys on Monday because tomorrow we don't have classes. So take care, be safe, cuídense que el virus todavía existe. Y si se enferman, están en clase siempre, porque aquí no nos contagiamos. Okay, I will see you okay. on Monday, guys. Have a great weekend. See you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Have a good night and a good weekend.